I no longer listen to what people say, I just watch what they do. Behavior never lies. Diplomacy is the art of telling people to go to hell in such a way that they ask for directions. Socialism is a philosophy of failure, the creed of ignorance, and the gospel of envy, its inherent virtue is the equal sharing of misery. You will never reach your destination if you stop and throw stones at every dog that barks. Success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. Everyone is in favor of free speech. Hardly a day passes without its being extolled, but some people's idea of it is that they are free to say what they like, but if anyone else says anything back, that is an outrage. Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. A good speech should be like a woman's skirt, long enough to cover the subject and short enough to create interest. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. A pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. If you will not fight for right when you can easily win without bloodshed, if you will not fight when your victory will be sure and not too costly, you may come to the moment when you will have to fight with all odds against you and only a precarious chance of survival. There may be even a worse fate, you may have to fight when there is no hope of victory, because it is better to perish than to live as slaves. Mr. Churchill, you're drunk. Mr. Churchill, and you, Lady Astor, are ugly. As for my condition, it will pass by the morning. You, however, will still be ugly. Churchill, madam, would you sleep with me for five million pounds? Socialite, my goodness, Mr. Churchill. Well, I suppose. We would have to discuss terms, of course. Churchill, would you sleep with me for five pounds? Socialite. Mr. Churchill, what kind of woman do you think I am? Churchill, madam, we've already established that. Now we are haggling about the price. Never give up on something that you can't go a day without thinking about. Some men change their party for the sake of their principles. Others their principles for the sake of their party appeasement is feeding the crocodile, hoping he will eat you last. The Russian Bolsheviks have discovered that truth does not matter so long as there is reiteration. They have no difficulty whatever encountering a fact by a lie which, if repeated often enough and loudly enough, becomes accepted by the people. Continuous effort, not strength or intelligence, is the key to unlocking our potential. The main vice of capitalism is the uneven distribution of prosperity. The main vice of socialism is the even distribution of misery. Individual Muslims may show splendid qualities. Thousands become the brave and loyal soldiers of the queen, all know how to die, but the influence of the religion paralyses the social development of those who follow it. No stronger retrograde force exists in the world. Far from being moribund, Mohammedanism is a militant and proselytizing faith. It has already spread throughout Central Africa, raising fearless warriors at every step, and were it not that Christianity is sheltered in the strong arms of science, the science against which it had vainly struggled, the civilization of modern Europe might fall, as fell the civilization of ancient Rome. Lady Nancy Astor, Winston, if you were my husband, I'd poison your tea. Churchill, Nancy, if I were your husband, I'd drink it. If two people agree on everything, one of them is unnecessary. To each there comes in their lifetime a special moment when they are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered the chance to do a very special thing, unique to them and fitted to their talents. What a tragedy if that moment finds them unprepared or unqualified for that which could have been their finest hour. Schools have not necessarily much to do with education. They are mainly institutions of control where certain basic habits must be inculcated in the young. Education is quite different and has little place in school. Do not trust any statistics you did not fake yourself. Life can either be accepted or changed. If it is not accepted, it must be changed. If it cannot be changed, then it must be accepted. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches, we shall fight on the landing grounds, we shall fight in the fields and in the streets, we shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender. We contend that for a nation to try to tax itself into prosperity is like a man standing in a bucket and trying to lift himself up by the handle. 
When they told me that by the year 2100 women would rule the world, my reply was still, the gin and tonic has saved more Englishmen's lives and minds than all the doctors in the empire. When we judge or criticize another person, it says nothing about that person, it merely says something about our own need to be critical. We shall go forward together. The road upwards is stony. There are upon our journey dark and dangerous valleys through which we have to make and fight our way. But it is sure and certain that if we persevere, and we shall persevere, we shall come through these dark and dangerous valleys into a sunlight broader and more genial and more lasting than mankind has ever known. Socialism is an attack on the right to breathe freely. No socialist system can be established without a political police. The fact that in Mohammedan law every woman must belong to some man as his absolute property either as a child, a wife, or a concubine must delay the final extinction of slavery until the faith of Islam has ceased to be a great power among men. You can measure a man's character by the choices he makes under pressure. If you want to discover new oceans, you must first have the courage to leave shore. Some people regard private enterprise as a predatory tiger to be shot. Others look on it as a cow they can milk. Not enough people see it as a healthy horse, pulling a sturdy wagon. The flags of the Confederate States of America were very important and a matter of great pride to those citizens living in the Confederacy. They are also a matter of great pride for their descendants as part of their heritage and history. Men occasionally stumble over the truth, but most of them pick themselves up and hurry off as if nothing had happened. One ought never to turn one's back on a threatened danger and try to run away from it. If you do that, you will double the danger. But if you meet it promptly and without flinching, you will reduce the danger by half. Never run away from anything. Never. Socialism is inseparably interwoven with totalitarianism and the object worship of the state. What is the use of living, if it be not to strive for noble causes, and to make this muddled world a better place for those who will live in it after we are gone? Criticism may not be agreeable, but it is necessary. It fulfills the same function as pain in the human body. It calls attention to an unhealthy state of things. The arts are essential to any complete national life. The state owes it to itself to sustain and encourage them. Ill fares the race which fails to salute the arts with the reverence and delight which are their due. There is no worse mistake in public leadership than to hold out false hopes soon to be swept away. The British people can face peril or misfortune with fortitude and buoyancy, but they bitterly resent being deceived or finding that those responsible for their affairs are themselves dwelling in a fool's paradise. Now this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. But it is perhaps the end of the beginning many forms of government have been tried and will be tried in this world of sin and woe no one pretends that democracy is perfect or all wise indeed it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government except all those others that have been remember the story of the spanish prisoner for many years he was confined in a dungeon one day it occurred to him to push the door of his cell it was open and it had never been locked. Hitler knows that he will have to break us in this island or lose the war. If we can stand up to him, all Europe may be free, and life of the world may move forward into broad, sunlit uplands. But if we fall, then the whole world, including the United States, including all that we have known and cared for, will sink into the abyss of a new dark age. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties, and so bear ourselves that, if the British Empire and its commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour. Victory at all costs, victory in spite of all terror, victory however long and hard the road may be, for without victory, there is no survival. For the first 25 years of my life, I wanted freedom. For the next 25 years, I wanted order. For the next 25 years, I realized that order is freedom. Laws just or unjust may govern men's actions. Tyrannies may restrain or regulate their words. The machinery of propaganda may pack their minds with falsehood and deny them truth for many generations of time. 
But the soul of man thus held in trance or frozen in a long night can be awakened by a spark coming from God knows where and in a moment the whole structure of lies and oppression is on trial for its life. The power of the executive to cast a man into prison without formulating any charge known to the law and particularly to deny him the judgment of his peers is in the highest degree odious and is the foundation of all totalitarian government whether Nazi or communist. I have always felt that a politician is to be judged by the animosities he excites among his opponents. Writing a book is an adventure. To begin with it is a toy and an amusement. Then it becomes a mistress, then it becomes a master, then it becomes a tyrant. The last phase is that just as you are about to be reconciled to your servitude, you kill the monster and fling him to the public. Before you can inspire with emotion, you must be swamped with it yourself. Before you can move their tears, your own must flow. To convince them, you must yourself believe. Before you can inspire with emotion, you must be swamped with it yourself. Before you can move their tears, your own must flow. To convince them, you must yourself believe. First, Poland has been again overrun by two of the great powers which held her in bondage for 150 years but were unable to quench the spirit of the Polish nation. The heroic defense of Warsaw shows that the soul of Poland is indestructible and that she will rise again like a rock which may for a spell be submerged by a tidal wave but which remains a rock. When I look back on all these worries, I remember the story of the old man who said on his deathbed that he had had a lot of trouble in his life, most of which had never happened it is a mistake to look too far ahead. Only one link of the chain of destiny can be handled at a time. There comes a special moment in everyone's life, a moment for which that person was born. That special opportunity, when he seizes it, will fulfill his mission, a mission for which he is uniquely qualified. In that moment, he will find greatness. It is his finest hour. A politician needs the ability to foretell what is going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year. And to have the ability afterwards to explain why it didn't happen. When told by a helpful aide that his flies were undone, he replied, Young man, there is no harm in leaving the cage door open if the bird is dead. I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. When someone says to me, Ugh, you smoke. I reply, Ugh, you're ugly. I can quit smoking. Of all the branches of men in the forces, there is none which shows more devotion and faces grimmer perils than the submariners. I do not agree that the dog in a manger has the final right to the manger even though he may have lain there for a very long time. I do not admit that right. I do not admit for instance that a great wrong has been done to the Red Indians of America or the black people of Australia. I do not admit that a wrong has been done to these people by the fact that a stronger race, a higher grade race, a more worldly wise race to put it that way, has come in and taken their place. We are with Europe but not of it. We are linked, but not comprised. We are interested and associated, but not absorbed. And should European statesmen address us in the words which were used of old, shall I speak for thee to the king or the captain of the host, we should reply with the Shunammite woman, nay, sir, for we dwell among our own people. How fortunate it was for the world that when these great trials came upon it there was a generation that terror could not conquer and brutal violence could not enslave. It is a good thing for an uneducated man to read books of quotations. Bartlett's Familiar Quotations is an admirable work, and I studied it intently. The quotations when engraved upon the memory give you good thoughts. They also make you anxious to read the authors and look for more. We must beware of trying to build a society in which nobody counts for anything except a politician or an official, a society where enterprise gains no reward and thrift no privileges I should have liked to be asked to say what I knew. They always tried to ask what I did not know. When I would have willingly displayed my knowledge, they sought to expose my ignorance. This sort of treatment had only one result. I did not do well in examinations. I do not apologize for the takeover of the region by the Jews from the Palestinians in the same way I don't apologize for the takeover of America by the whites from the Red Indians or the takeover of Australia from the blacks. It is natural for a superior race to dominate an inferior one. We shall not fail or falter. We shall not weaken or tire. 
Neither the sudden shock of battle, nor the long-drawn trials of vigilance and exertion will wear us down. Give us the tools, and we will finish the job. Keep England white is a good slogan. A love for tradition has never weakened a nation. Indeed, it has strengthened nations in their hour of peril. I am your servant. You have the right to dismiss me when you please. What you have no right to do is ask me to bear responsibility without the power of action. I am your servant. You have the right to dismiss me when you please. What you have no right to do is ask me to bear responsibility without the power of action. I am in favor of deliberately spreading methodically prepared bacteria among people and animals, mildew. To destroy the harvests, anthrax to destroy horses and livestock, and the plague, in order to kill not only entire armies, but also the inhabitants of large regions. A baboon in a forest is a matter of legitimate speculation, a baboon in a zoo is an object of public curiosity, but a baboon in your wife's bed is a cause of the gravest concern. The shortest road to ruin is to emulate the methods of your adversary. At the bottom of all the tributes paid to democracy is the little man, walking into the little booth, with a little pencil, making a little cross on a little bit of paper no amount of rhetoric or voluminous discussion can possibly diminish the overwhelming importance of the point.